it's back hey guys back again with another video to help you out this time removing the heater controls and stereo from this 2011 nissan altima um, this is for a customer so i don't know if there's any kind of code that's necessary to reinstall this or put it in another vehicle it might be something to look into uh, before you begin um, but also the only tools you'll need are a phillips head screwdriver a flathead screwdriver and a T25 Torx head and I've got it here on this bit driver so um, the first thing you're going to want to do is I would probably take that flathead screwdriver and wrap some black tape around the tip of it electrical tape so it doesn't scratch or mar your dash up here because you're going to want to come in here behind the heater controls and just pry on the edge of it to pop it loose and uh, it'll come out and you can just move it to the side and that will reveal a phillips head screw over here and another over here uh, then on the bottom you'll have to come over here underneath the center console and right here on the bottom there's this removable panel it sits in here like so you'll have to get in underneath the corner of it and just pry it loose and pop it down and out of the way and then you'll be able to access the two Phillips head screws on the bottom. And then when you have those out, you can then pull your assembly out to you. Obviously I've already got this removed. Um, on the bottom here, you'll have your heater controls that'll sit right here in the middle of this. But you'll have a T25 Torx head on one side and then also on the other side and that will remove it from the bracket but then you'll also have these little clips right here on the edge that hold the heater control inside of the bezel but you'll also have this one giant plug on the back side here uh, you'll also have a trigger on the uh, back side on this side to squeeze and pull that out but you'll also need to kind of pry these little metal tabs away just a little bit to be able to release that and then you'll have the radio you'll have all these plugs to remove um, they're all unique so you can't mess them up to put back in um, but then also if you're replacing this with another one you may need to remove the t25 torx heads on the sides here to remove the radio from this bracket if you need it but uh Pretty straight, pretty straightforward to remove um, and put back in, and it'll save you some money as opposed to having a shop do it. Uh, but if this helped you, drop a like down below and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching.